Oh. That's better. <gasps> Look at my face. She's glowy. Okay, aircon. Oh. I wasn't gonna wash my hair today, but I think I'm gonna have to. Um, today I'm getting content for Cara Lee, basically just for like their website marketing, Instagram. So they sent me a bunch of styles. So we're probably head down to the beach actually where we shot for my collection actually. It's a really good spot because there's like a little bridge. Um, there's like a rocky area, can take some on the sand, in the car park. Yeah, that's what I'm doing today with Peter. So that should be fun. I just need to go drop off some uh, parcels to the post office. I'm actually out of breath, like honestly, my camera's about to die. That's the one thing I hate about Sony's. I feel like my um, Canon camera batteries lasted way longer. I've got two, thankfully, but like I feel like it doesn't even last a day. Like if I'm fully vlogging all day for like a couple of hours, I have to change it at least once. Whereas with my Canon, I could go like two or three full days of vlogging until I had to change it. That's why I'm always just like, oh shit, battery died. Because like it doesn't really give me warning. It just flashes and then it dies. So that's a bit annoying. But like overall, I do like the Sony. I think better. Like I'm used to the viewfinder being on the side rather than like looking up. Um, so yeah, that's my little review on the Sony. It's called the vlogging camera. Um, it's around the same price as the Canon actually. It's fairly expensive, but a good camera for like overall everything, you know, and it's a good size. Oh, I actually can't like just, I can't. I just need to like take a minute to be honest. I'm dying. Okay, I need to go. I'll chat with you guys later on. What am I doing? Hey guys, I just finished getting ready for my little shoot with Cara Lee. Why am I walking into the laundry? Um, yeah, like I said, I just got a bunch of styles that they sent me. You've probably seen this style before. We're just gonna head to the beach like pretty much where we shot last time and yeah shoot some content they just yeah want some photos basically I need to reposition the cup we're all ready to go to the beach where we're gonna shoot some of the pieces from Cara Lee I've got some sunnies um I wasn't gonna bring any other shoes I think these shoes would go with most of the looks um we're gonna go take that picture frame back because it's dented so this is the frame that we replaced but there's dents in the glass so we're gonna go get it replaced again um and then i want to go and get some of that neutrogena spray sunscreen because it makes your skin look amazing i yeah i hate like the feeling of putting uh what's it called just like lotion sunscreen on because you feel sticky, but that doesn't make you feel sticky. So yeah, we're gonna go get that, and then I will show you guys when we get to the location. Oh my God, guys, we did not pick a good day. Well, it is a good day, but it's fucking hot. Like, I, I'm gonna put the car on right now. Oh, I need to put the brake on to start the car. How's that gonna work? It's not. Yeah, so we just, how's the lighting? It's a bit wrong. Oh. Look at me. So yeah, we just finished shooting. I didn't get any BTS because it was so hot. We just kind of wanted to get all the outfits um, done, like instead of fucking around with the camera and setting it up and stuff. Um, it took us a bit over two hours. We went to two different locations just along the beach. And I think I did like 20 or something pieces. So I am wrecked. My makeup is sweating off. I need to go to the post office again to drop off some parcels and I think we need to get some stuff for dinner. I'm not sure what I feel like, but I want to make something in the thermi because I haven't in ages. I probably won't, but yeah, that's the plan. I'm a hot mess.
morning guys happy thursday um i just got up well not just got up i got up about an hour and a half ago and i just packed some orders i got quite a few last night which is good but yeah i needed to get up early to pack and then it, the postman is coming any minute now pretty much i didn't really have the best sleep last night so i cancelled my bar class this morning um because that's what i was meant to do this morning about to get my eyebrows threaded i just go to a lady down the road she just does it from her house i did get this parcel actually from where are the scissors i swear they disappear five times a day they're here hello hello how are you good thing I don't know if Frank accidentally sent me two packages or one. I actually love that lady. She's so nice. Oh, I've got the scissors. Yeah, I got two packages that look the same, unless it didn't fit in one um, box. By the way, how good does my skin look? I'm obsessed. Those drunk elephant serum drops are like game changing. I just put them on. I have been using the Eco 10 tan water, but like, I don't know if it really works. Maybe I have to use it like a few times. Ooh, body wash, deodorant. Oh, speaking of deodorants, I have um, uh, one on the way from Native that I really want to try. It's like their natural deodorant. I'm not sure if this is like a natural, probably is, but thank you so much. Oh my God, how cute is this little shopping bag? Can't have enough of those. I'm honestly wondering if this is the exact same thing. I might have to message them and just let them know just in case they've got like, yeah, it's the exact same thing. Maybe I'll just keep it in there and like offer to send it back because I don't need two of them. This package from We Are Not Vibes. I always get messages asking where my figure candles are from and look how cool this set is, like with all different sizes. I've actually already got a pink one like this. That's a bit cute. I love their packaging. They smell so good. I might even put like would this one look good here? So thank you so much. And then I also got a package from a company called Naz. Now, last time I shared a company like this, I'm not sure what happened, but I feel so bad because they sent me like a bunch of clothes and then I, I guess they said it's like all these influencers, right? And um, then randomly they just like shut their online store and I guess like maybe couldn't keep up with the demand, but I haven't heard anything since from them. I'm not sure if like the people that placed an order got their money back, but yeah, maybe just, it's just hard because you don't know that that's gonna happen when like I open a PR package or whatever. So. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm sure you guys know what brand I'm talking about because it's very similar to what I'm about to show you. Um, but I'm sure this brand isn't going to do that. Well, I hope it doesn't. Um, so they do like designer inspired um, shirts and jumpers. You guys know I'm obsessed with this kind of stuff. So love this one. It says Saint Laurent and it's a white jumper. And then a bunch of cute tees. I love this one. YSL, and then lastly, a black Chanel one, which is so cute. Thank you so much, guys. But yeah, if you wanted to get like a designer inspired tea, it's from Naz Apparel. So thank you so much. That's so thoughtful. And thank you so much for thinking of me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly go make a coffee and put that in the recycling and then head to my brow appointment and then I need to go pick up a parcel from the post office because this was left at my house yesterday. I don't know what it could be. I might have ordered something. So I don't usually get stuff sent to my home address. I usually just get it sent to my PO box. Like all of this was from my PO box that I, except for Frank Body. But yeah, mainly things that come here I've ordered online. So I'm like trying to think what I've ordered.
Anyways, I'm gonna have a coffee and I'll show you guys what my brows look like after. <laughs> I can never open my eyes after I get my eyebrows threaded. Like my eyes water every single time. But I literally just get a thread. I don't even get a tint or anything. I really wanna get my eyebrows um, laminated. So I might try and find somewhere in Perth that does it. Um, I was gonna go pick up my parcel, but I'm too hungry because I haven't eaten. I was gonna have a coffee, didn't have time. Typical. Um, so I'm gonna go home and have breakfast. I might pick that up later on today or maybe even tomorrow after my PT session. I'm getting my nails done. She can only really fit in like basics with like one color. So I'm not gonna, I could get tips, like colored tips or something. Something that's really easy because we've only got 45 minutes because she quickly squeezed me in, thank God. Um, and then yeah, I've got PT tomorrow. And then this weekend we're just kind of like packing, I guess, and organizing for Esperance. I can't believe it takes literally 10 hours to get there. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> and I can't even help drive because Peter drives a manual and I don't drive manual. Yes, I'm that person. Just got to Luna. I actually have like 10 minutes to spare, so I might just chill on my phone because she might have a client before me, or maybe I will go in a bit earlier because she might not. I'll show you guys my nails after. These are before. They're all yuck and crusty. These were not done by Luna. I just went to my like um, local shopping center. But yeah, I'm excited to get a refill. Okay, be right back. Okay, I just finished my nails. They look so freaking good. I'm so obsessed. I need to take a photo for Instagram actually. Um, I needed a water because I brought my pre-workout because I'm about to go to the gym, but they only had sparkling water. So that shall be interesting. Um, let me just take a quick, <laughs> quick pick. Okay. <laughs> Here goes Sam Pellegrino and pre-workout. Oh. Am I just using the whole thing? I can't believe I'm doing this. <sighs> to be honest, actually, Genora does taste really nice with soda water. I've tried that before. Now I'm just confused at how I'm going to mix it. Maybe I'm just going to have to... <laughs> Let me just try a bit. That's actually nice. That's actually good. What the hell? I just need to like mix that bottom bit. That should be right. Okay. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. Well, I'm off to the gym. Oh, it's like leaking. I will check in with you guys when I'm done because I need to concentrate on the road. Why have I set you guys up on a tripod? Like I'm filming a professional video. Anyway, I just got home. I'm about to unbox this. I went and picked this up from post office. I think I know what it is and I'm going to try it if it is what I think it is. Woo! I feel like I need a chat. Oh my god, I thought I literally just snapped my nail. Their new greens powder. I'm so excited to try it. Oh, I haven't ended my workout. <laughs> An hour and 20 minutes. Ooh. All right, so we've got 
gorgeous greens. I have struggled to find a good greens powder. The one that I'm using at the moment is that U UPS brand. It's like chocolate flavored greens. It's so freaking yum. Surely they come out with a chocolate flavored greens powder because you can honestly not taste it. So they've got very vanilla, which is so weird to have in a greens powder. And then mango magic. I might try mango, but anyways, I'm gonna cook some, um, what's this? I'm gonna cook some breakfast. I was like, what? I'm gonna go through what I need to get done before we leave slash this week. I've got a few things on today. I still need to edit my vlog. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make some breakfast now. I'm probably gonna make my usual sandwich thins. Every Might, Natalex, no, Natalex, wait, and eggs. So let's do it. I'll just put you guys on a time lapse or something, surely. test of the greens I'm a bit nervous because it smells like a greens powder and I can't deal okay ready oh wow that's actually quite pleasantly nice it does taste like greens powder but also it has that like aftertaste of mango. Honestly, if they made a chocolate version of this, buy, I'll buy 50. Just because I'm like, I just love my chocolate one. Well, I mean, I'm still drinking it. Usually with grains powders, I literally have one sip and I'm like, no, nah, can't do it. So yes, it is quite nice. I'll try the vanilla one as well tomorrow. But yeah, that one was the mango one. It's a very subtle mango flavor at the very end. Like I wouldn't say this like is a mango. I don't know. Like it's not like fully mango, if that makes sense. But it's quite smooth. Like I'll drink it, which is very rare for me to drink like a proper greens powder. Um, but yeah, here's my brekkie. Gonna go finish that. And then... What am I doing today? Oh, I've got to do a few stories and I guess start packing. Okay, I'm just about to go to Priceline actually because, whoa, that's bright. I need to get some like travel stuff. Some micellar water. It's not the Garnier one, but the other one, it's like pink. It starts with D, I think. Anyways, yeah, I've got a massive bottle of it, but like it's not really practical for traveling so I want to get like a mini travel size version of that and then I need to get something else of course now I can't remember I'm sure when I'm in there it'll come to me but yeah also <laughs> funny thing because obviously we'll be away and there won't be anyone um packing orders if I have any if I get any while we're away because I pack all the orders. So I've done like a little note on the website saying like all uh, orders placed after basically tomorrow will be shipped out when we return, which will be like March 15 on the Monday. Um, and like I'm just posting like what I got today, which is like six or seven. And every time I was about to leave the door, I got like a notification saying that there was an order and I was like, okay, last one, last one. And then like if another one comes, it's too late because I'm in the car. What's the bet now that I'm filming this or another order will come up? Because when I was on the website, it said that there was six people on. So yeah, sorry. <laughs> if that was you, you're just gonna have to wait until, well, I guess I could technically get to the post office before 12 tomorrow and like post whatever I get from now. I guess I could do that actually, but I just posted from today onwards, if you do make an order, 
um, it won't be shipped out until March 15 when we return. So yeah, I'm just about to go to the shops. So I will show you guys what we get. All right, little haul. So I did end up going to Woolworths. How good do these look? They're like veggie rolls. Holy shit, I was gonna eat them in the car and I was like, nah, I'll use my sweet chili sauce. I'm gonna have them, we've got some more eggs. We don't need much because we're gonna Nando's for dinner tonight, Friday ritual. And then we've only got Saturday and Sunday and we've got enough food for like two days. Just got some more steak for Peter. Got some of these for the road slash just snacks while we're there. And I got, I needed new socks. So I just got some no show ones. And then I just got some normal like low cut ones. Um, I got some more of this. This is literally the best, especially if you like taking photos outside. I don't know, it just makes your skin look really nice. And obviously it's got SPF in it. Um, and then I needed like a little travel size um, moisturizer for my legs or for my body. And yeah, so I just decided to pick this one up. I've actually tried this one before. And then I couldn't find a small, um, it's called Bioderma, Bioderma micellar water. So I just bought these so I can just put some of it in. And Peter always complains that there's no clean silicon spatulas. So I just got two more and then some coat hangers. And that is it. That's my little boring haul. Okay, holy shit, I did not expect this. Firstly, hi. I don't need this, but also, yes, I do. <laughs> so, uh, Before You Speak just came out with this new coffee. I actually had Before You Speak in ages. I was honestly obsessed at one stage. You know when like your taste buds change a bit? I tried it like maybe a couple months ago and I was like, ew. But like not, <laughs> not ew, but like I just didn't have that same, oh my God, yum, when I f like first had it. It was so fucking weird. Um... I used to have it literally every single day for like a year, I swear. Um, and they just sent their new thermogenic coffee, Metabolism Energy Focus. I'm going to give it a go again because you know what? Like I mixed this with their creamer and it was really freaking nice. So this one's just, what flavor is it? I think it's just normal. Anyways, I'll give it a go. But how cool is this? Like they're all... It's all candy that you can't, like, you can't get here. Yum. That would be way too hot for me. Peter is going to, like, literally die when he sees this. Cherry coconut sugar. What? Kit Kat Chunky with Biscoff. What do you actually mean? That needs to go in the fridge. It's like, um, what's it called? Melting. Twix caramel. Reese's. Oh my God, Peter's gonna die over this stuff. He's obsessed with like American candy. What's that? Oh my God, what? That's so freaking cool. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I will try it. I'm gonna give it a go. Maybe I'll try it tomorrow. Okay, I'm trying it. I just poured myself some. Let's give it a go. So this one doesn't have black pepper in it, which is, I think, the ingredient that I was like, when I last tried it. Don't hold me to that though, it might. Oh, it actually smells like just a black coffee. I'm excited. Okay, I've only got hot water in. Sorry if I slurp in advance. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, what? It doesn't it doesn't have black pepper. It doesn't have any of that pepper taste. Oh my god, I actually like that. Cute, so I'm addicted to before you speak again. Not even joking. If you like black coffee, I wonder what this would actually um taste like with a dash of milk. I couldn't ever have my other but when I used to have the glow and the creamer, I never used to put milk in it. Sometimes I would have it on its own and I felt like it tasted weird with a dash of milk. But this actually just tastes like black coffee. Like you you would have just poured like a plain black coffee. So I'm going to add a bit of almond milk. I probably should have let that like sit for a bit. Otherwise it might curdle. Yep, started to curdle. 
that just went down the wrong hole and I just had a coughing fit. <coughs> oh my God, I hate that. I actually really like that. I'm definitely gonna take some of that with me when we go um, down south. I think I still have a code with Before You Speak. I haven't worked with them in months, but I'm not sure if they like disabled it or whatever, but you could try. So it's called the Thermogenic Coffee. And it, if you have tried Before You Speak, just the normal one, and you don't like it, you'll probably like this one because it doesn't have pepper in it. I actually like really like that. I'm going to tell Riley about it because she loves black coffee and I feel like she would love that. Okay, I'm going to go put all of those chocolate bars in the fridge because they're going to melt. Um, and yeah, go put all this shit away. best place to be vlogging because I just finished the class and I was the first one out. Why is that zoomed in? So everyone that walks out is going to see my camera. So I better be quick. But yeah, I just finished Pilates. Saturday morning, I'm going to... Oh, here's everyone coming out. Um, yeah, I'm going to go home and start packing actually. I need to edit this vlog to have up for Monday. Um, and I forgot that I, I'm uploading a vlog tomorrow too. So I need to finish the thumbnail for that. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing this morning. I went and dropped off some parcel. I'm gonna go now because everyone's walking out and I will see you when I get home. Hey guys, I'm about to have lunch. I just shot some content uh, for stories for my makeup page. Um, I thought I would show you guys what I'm gonna have. Um, I have recently discovered these from Woolworths. I'm aware that not all Woolworths have them. It's just seriously such a quick and easy option um, for protein. So they've got a couple different flavors. Apparently the peri peri one's really nice, but I don't like spicy. So this one is, yeah, I'm just gonna get a plate. You can have these cold, but um, I prefer it heated up. And I'm just gonna, I don't know how much I'm gonna have. Maybe that much and then I'm gonna put it in the microwave well you could actually heat it up on the pan but I'm being very lazy and make a wrap these are the wraps that I use they're from Woolworths and they're just the low carb wraps they're really yum and they only have like I've only got six grams of carbs which is not bad Chicken, I think that's really hot. Um, what else can I add on there? I 
I'll try it. I've got half an avocado here. Oh, it's a bit brown. I don't know if it's just me, but if an avocado is like borderline black, I still kind of eat it. Is that like not right? So I honestly don't care. It doesn't taste any different. But like, then I wouldn't eat like rotten, like it's, it's obviously rotting, but like, I don't know, I'm weird. Okay, avocado. And then I'm gonna put some sweet chili sauce on. This is the Low Carb Emporium. Good sauce. That reminds me to make an order. And that's it. There's my lunch. Okay, let's try this. I just put that all down my top. It tastes like Dr. Pepper. And I don't really like Dr. Pepper. No, I don't like that at all. Wait, we're drinking that. I'm just gonna pour myself a Genora instead. All right, I'm gonna eat that, pack away. I need to edit this vlog. And then I'm gonna finish packing. Okay guys, you might enjoy this. So last week on my week off, I was in, no, when I was in Red Dot getting that picture frame, I saw these and I was like, I wonder if I can stack them and they fit underneath my sink. And then I also saw these, which are stackable as well. And I put them in and they literally fit perfectly. When I first put them in, I was like, oh no. See, like, look, it's literally on the brim, but it shuts. So I'm stoked. So yeah, once again, they're from Red Dot if you're from Perth. I'm sure any sort of cheap store does it, but they're like stackable acrylic um, shelves, I guess. And it just obviously gives you so much more room. So I've got my Dyson up here on this one. And then I haven't really found like a proper home for like stuff down there. Tanning stuff is at the back. I still need to like put away all the stuff up there. By the way, I just tried that deodorant just before. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to give it a few days, maybe. Uh, yeah, I just put it on, it was quite like wet, but I've never tried a natural deodorant before, so that's probably why. Um, I'm just about to pack my toiletry bag for Esperance, so yeah, I'm just gonna, my, I might just pack it and show you guys what I pack. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I, we've been up since like 6.30. Who are we? We wanted to get up to get into like a early sort of routine. I know we should have done that like a couple nights ago, but we kind of wanted to like make ourselves tired. So we go to bed early tonight because we have to get up at like 5 a.m. tomorrow. So we got up, we went to the gym, had breakfast. Well, I just went on the treadmill. He did his thing. And now I'm just packing. Well, I'm just starting to pack the orders that I got today. If you watched my last vlog, I mentioned that I'm adding in some cases that I couldn't sell and so many of you guys place an order so I'm doing that right now um, and then for the rest of the day I need to pack which I'll show you guys we need to pack the car so I need to decide on like what stuff we're bringing I got that really cool like picnic insulated picnic basket that I'll take for when we're like at the beach and stuff I think that'd be really handy um, we're just going to go shopping when we get there, I think, just to get like food because we are staying in an Airbnb, so we can actually cook food there. But for most of the time, we'll probably be like out eating, but we'll probably have like breakfast and like morning coffees at the Airbnb. And I don't know, maybe we will have lunch. I'm not sure there, but yeah, we just want to go to see so many amazing places and I'm so excited. So I will show you guys when we start packing, but for now... I'm going to go ahead and start packing these orders so I don't have to pack as many when I get back. Um, so yeah, I'll put you guys on a time lapse. Also, can we just admire my skin? I'm so freaking happy. I've been using the Eco Tan, like the face water every night, my just normal skincare. And I actually used retinol last night, so I didn't use that prescribed cream and I won't use that for a couple of nights. Just because retinol is quite, um, I guess, strong on the skin. I don't want to like mix too many ingredients together, but it looks, it just looks so like glowy. And I just look, I feel like I just look so different. 
like my face is just glowing. This is all literal scarring or redness. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super happy with how my skin's looking. I'm about to go for a shower, scrub off what's left of this tan. Not gonna lie, I think I've changed my mind about it. I think I really like it. Like it didn't go patchy or uneven. I do moisturize every day, which is key to keeping your tan like last longer and just looking fresh and not scaly. So I do that anyways, but sometimes, especially when I put a lot of the Bondi Sands tan on, um, it can sort of crust around my wrists, especially my watch. Um, but that's probably because I literally put on like three layers, but I, I really like the color. It's just like really natural. Um, yeah, I really like it actually. That, that was the one hour foam. So I'm going to scrub this off or scrub what's left and then try the ultra dark streak free barley body tanning mousse. And it does say like, obviously the longer you keep it on for the better. I allow four to eight hours. I'll probably just put it on now and then just stay in it before bed. Um, just because I don't want to sleep in it because we have to get up really early and I don't really want to have a shower and wash off my tan Like I just want to get up Pack the car and go straight away and not have to worry um, So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. How like glowy does my face look right now? Yeah, I will show you guys after I've applied it. Okay, so I just finished applying one It's like really hard to show you because like I'm obviously naked one layer of the ultra dark i'll show you so i don't even know why i put this on can't really tell that much i might put a little bit more on my hands because they look too pale um the consistency is definitely a lot more water fuck Definitely a lot more watery than Bondi Sands and I found it a little bit harder to work with but because I've been tanning for literal years I made it work. Okay. See like that scares me putting that much tan on my hands. I just use like an old makeup brush to put it on my hands and like my wrists and stuff. Okay, that's the tan, that's the color. I'm gonna let it sit for six hours or so, or just until after dinner. During my break of vlogging, I did buy the Bissell, car it's like a carpet or like fabric cleaner, and we used it, oh no, there's like a massive part of tan on my hand, oh my God. How do I get rid of that? Okay, I think I saved the day. Um, yeah, anyways, we bought a Bissell cleaner and we used it on the rugs outside in the lounge and in the bedroom. And oh my God, the, like the dirty water in the tank was disgusting. So we want to clean the couch before we leave. So we're going to do it tonight. Like after we watch TV, because you obviously can't sit on a wet couch and it takes a few days to dry. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, but yeah, like. I'm so excited. It's so satisfying just seeing like the dirty water and all the dirt coming out of the rugs and stuff. So yeah, we're going to do that tonight and I need to finish packing my toiletries and stuff. This tan is really quite sticky. Like it's not drying. The one reason why I love the Bondi Sands Aero is that it literally dries within like 10 minutes. Um, and you can like put normal clothes on and just go with the rest of your day. But like, I feel very, very wet and sticky still. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to sit down. It'll be on my phone for a bit and reply to a few emails and I'll give you an update later. Just realized I forgot to show you what I will be packing toiletry wise. So obviously my SPF, I've got my B complex, my Esme skin snack obsessed with that. 
And then these are just my shower gels and the Bioderma that I put in there. I've got in here is like my tanning stuff. So I think I've got, yeah, my drops from Junk Elephant. And then in here is some of that face tanning water from Eco Tan. Cervirax because you just never know when I'm going to get a cold sore. This is also really good for face tanning. I haven't used it in ages. I just have it in here. Um, I might, I feel like I don't need it. Like, oh, by the way, the tan did dry. So um, I feel like I don't need it. Uh, yeah, like I feel like the face tanning water's kind of like tanned up my face a bit, but I've just kept it in there anyways. The cream that the doctor prescribed me. You want to screenshot that um, this is a really good little um, exfoliant so it's actually a powder and you mix it with a bit of water um, I just don't want to bring my massive one and then my body lotion what else do I have in there hair ties and then in here I've got my hyaluronic acid Olaplex which I need more of and then more Olaplex I'll be using them today though some cotton pads and cotton tips that's my tan actually I might do that while I'm away as well because that's a really really hydrating mask I just keep it on actually overnight sometimes um, I don't really wash it off but I really like that one it's from Esme that's what it's called my brush but I'll obviously need all of that <laughs> all of my jewelry I'll be putting that in my um Jewelry case, I need to wash that. And I think that's it. I think that's all. Oh, obviously my um, shampoo and conditioner, which I will be taking my Olaplex. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I use on my hair. Oh, sometimes I use the Bondi Boost, um, the purple shampoo to tone it. Um, but yeah, I'll put it in there tonight when I'm finished washing my hair. Like I said, I redecorated my house and switched around all of my decor. So I moved that from my makeup room. I also did that. And then these were outside on the dining table. Not sure what I'm gonna fill these with. I think I'm just gonna get some books or something. Cause I feel like that looks really nice. These are just some little booby pots. I think they're from Perky Pots, but I'm not sure what else to fill that with. So that's that. And then in here, which is what I did yesterday, it took me five hours. I'm not joking. I had boxes all along this um, wall. And yeah, I just decluttered so much of my stuff. So like that is still from when we moved. I'm not even joking. Like still stuff that I brought with me from Queensland that I just have in there. It's like random shit like shoes. Like, honestly, the most random stuff. I don't even know what is in there at this point. This is actually our theater. So when you walk in, there's that. And then this first room on the left was meant to be our theater, but it's kind of turned into like our stock room. <laughs> well, my stock room. For, that's pretty much all of my packaging. I've got more packaging here. Thank you cards, pouches, boxes. That's just clothes that I don't want. And this is the current sitch and what I've packed so far. Um, apparently it does get a little bit chilly in Esperance. So I've packed some like jeans and stuff to go out in. Um, I've packed some, I need to get trackies actually. I've packed some like long pants for bed, like crops. I bought a ton of active wear because I'm not sure if we'll be doing like much walking or whatever. Um, obviously heaps of swimmers, like all of this is just swimmers, um, sunscreen, and then I think I'm just going to put all my toiletries and shoes in the small one. And then in here, what else do I have? I packed this a few days ago. Oh yeah, some throwovers for the beach, cute little toweling set, a jumper, and then they're just kind of like beachy clothes, like linen long sleeve tops and stuff like that um jeans a top undies and socks and then beach towel i need to go through my um glasses and see which ones i'm gonna bring because i always tend to bring so freaking many and i never get around to using them so these are probably my favorite i would have to say these two so that one's louis vuitton that one is uh desi how similar do they look love that um 
my jewelry case, which I'll chuck in there. Oh, I don't know if I like these. Like I bought them. It's, it was a bit of an impulse buy. Like, I think they look good when you've got like the right hair and makeup. It's kind of like that 2000s look. But right now, like, what's that? <laughs> I would not wear that, like not all done up. Whereas these ones, like they just cover your face. You can just wear them 24 seven. So I might not bring them. I don't think it's the type of holiday for that sort of shit. I really do like these sunnies actually. And I do really like my new paired ones. Like these ones do still look a bit funny without makeup and hair done, but I'll bring them. I don't think I'll bring these ones. These ones are also Desi. I do like these ones too, but they're a really small make. Like they actually kind of hurt my head, but I do have a big head. Um, so yeah, I might just take these two, these, and I might just keep them. So I'll chuck them in the cases. This was my um, Boxing Day purchase from Country Road. How nice is it? I love this towel. My beach bag. I just got another towel. What's in here? Ooh, I actually need to develop one of them because they're from Hayman Island. I'm so slack. Portable charger, some hand wipes, freeze balm, a clip, dead old. I got these last week. I've always wanted a pair of Yeezys. Oh my gosh, they're so comfy. Um, I got them from a boutique in Perth actually called uh cool ways or cool cool days cool waves something like that but it's in perth city it's in like a really um like random spot it's like in an alley like kind of near like where chanel is and gucci like down that street like where the designer stores are um so yeah i got them in this like really nice gray color i love them not sure if i'll bring them like i feel like they're just like a I guess they're a sneaker, but I probably will just bring these, which are my Adidas Oswegos. They're actually quite similar, like the chunky heel. But yeah, I wear them to the gym. So yeah, and I also did get a new bag. I love it. I'm like literally obsessed. Um, so yeah, I pretty much just brought this to put my laptop in and like work stuff. I've had to bring my little planner just in case I don't miss anything because I have a couple of things that I do need to post while I'm away. Um, but yeah, I love this bag. It's so cute. That's what I have been doing. I'm like the worst packer. <laughs> like it's just not pleasing at all. I don't know how people like pack nicely, but yeah, that's pretty much what my packing situation looks like. Look at my tan. Imagine if I put two layers on. It is so dark, I'm about to wash it off. Um, so I guess you'll see tomorrow. <gasps> Holy crap, I was literally about to do two layers. Thank God I didn't. Hey guys, I just realized I haven't signed off on the vlog. I just washed my tan off, washed my hair, half blow dried it. I'll blow dry the rest later, but we're just cute. <laughs> we're just packing. I was going to do the couch, but I think we're just gonna do it when we come back because I just don't really have time. Like I need to be packing. Also changed all of my jewelry in my ears, but I'll show you guys that tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna sign off on the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I literally cannot wait to vlog Esperance. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.